is uh, certainly one of the most anticipated events globally, uh, and that is Dreamforce 2019. We are in San Francisco for what is maybe the most prolific Dreamforce in the history of Dreamforce. My name is Jonas Tischner. I am the brand marketing director at a company called DocuSign. And this lovely lady standing with me is probably no stranger to many of you. It is Lauren Dunn, who is an MVP, two-time. Two-time MVP, first in Ireland. First in Ireland, in the first, entire country. In the entire country of Ireland, yes. It's brilliant. Um, we are gonna be hearing from a lot of great folks over the next few days. Yeah. Uh, you were saying Tim Cook is live now? Tim Cook is live at the fireside right now with Benioff. Um, we also had Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. Benioff had just finished up his, his keynote about an hour ago, two, two, two hours ago probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, God, it's just time is flying. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's finished up his keynote and... I know we have Barack Obama coming up. I am getting up at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> to queue for that. That is like... That and, and uh, David Beckham. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can't wait. So I was curious, when we talk about trailblazers, explain for the folks who may not understand, or maybe it's just me, what is the importance of being an MVP trailblazer? What does that actually mean? It, it means I can give back to the community. It's, you know... I love what I do. I get paid to do my hobby. Mm -hmm. I get to bring Salesforce folks into the fold, um, get to learn no, new things about Salesforce products and being able to reach out and mentor new people who are brand new to the community. So I had a, a brand new admin only last week reach out going, I've got certified, where do I go next? Yeah. Please help me. And I'm like, okay, let's get on a call. Let's let's talk this out. So I was able to hook them up with a few connections and you know, here's where you go next, obviously Trailhead and mm -hmm. you know, just kind of getting people started. That's what I love about being an MVP is I have the ability to help others. So when you get back to Dreamforce every year, does it feel like home for you? It is like literally the the best thing. I, I've called it like Christmas for me. Yeah. Um it is the best feeling being able to meet up with so many people like this is my fifth dream force mm -hmm. and every year like we talk on social media we talk on twitter but right now i'm getting to see people people are stopping me in the street and hugging me and i'm like oh my god yeah. it's you yeah yeah and you know it, it just means so much being able to connect with people personally yeah we'll have to share it at some point but there's actually a poster in oh, the god. trailhead with your big mush on there <laughs> There's more than one I've been told. I'm getting tagged in pictures and I'm like, oh my God, it's, yeah. It's fantastic. I'm doing the... Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we are live today inside of DocuSign's headquarters, which is at the W this yes. year. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's at the W every year, but we are in the space behind us that is actually sort of a hang space. It's where folks can have lunch, but it's also, you can see behind me, there's some pretty impressive demos that there people is. are gonna be doing. We've got a lot of stuff we're gonna cover. Can you give us a little rundown of what the next three days is gonna look like? Sure, so um, we've got the, obviously, Dream Park walkthrough. Um, we're gonna be coming from different areas of, of the Dream Park. We've got, there's four boot demos that we're gonna be delivering. Um, there's so much, um, let me think. There is um, hands-on training. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of interviews with the, the, the Trailblazer community, naturally. Yes, of course. You know, I like to talk. Yeah. Talk to the Trailblazer community, my fellow Ohana. Um, there's just going to be lots of fun. I'm hoping that people will see the excitement of Dreamforce. Sure. You know, there's a lot of people who couldn't attend. Yep. And I really just want to make sure they get a bit of bit of Salesforce love too. Yeah, and DocuSign has a huge presence this year. Obviously, you have a massive space in the Expo Hall. Yep. We also have a very good-sized uh, presence in the Dev Forest. There is. Um, I could talk about it all day long, but you earlier today kind of did a little walkthrough of the trailhead. I did. I, that was crazy. It was so busy, but it was brilliant. It was great to see they've completely changed up the space. Mm -hmm. There's brand new like areas. Obviously, the Customer 360s are a big focus this year, but we have probably the biggest boot I've ever seen Love in it. the trailhead floor. Like I walked in and I was like, oh, okay. And then the team were like, go around the back as well. Yeah. So we've around the back. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Well, we could talk about it all day long, but I'd love to show you her walking tour uh, just a little bit ago. So let's take a look. There is going to be one-on-ones with fellow devs as well and deep dives into the Salesforce products. I am here at the Admin Meadow. This is where there's going to be some presentations, demos, and one-on-ones with other Salesforce admins, getting to know their stories and how they progress. We are at the Trading Post. This is where after you complete all your mini hacks and visit booths, you get a prize. I am at here at Camp 
mini hack where DocuSign has their very own mini hack. If you combine DocuSign and Process Builder, you get a hex here, and then you can be in with a chance to win. Oh, we're giving away so much Lego, a Nintendo Switch, a VR, oh, and a 3D printer. Like, this is where my tour ends. I'm right here at the DocuSign booth, and as you can see, it's so busy, I can't even get in. We are located right by the Island Theater and across from the Quick Pap Crips Guard. Please stop by and say hello to us. All right, so that's a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing you in a lot of different places as you kind of go through your week. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, that is so true. So I'm going to be walking around, taking my cell phone with me, taking as many videos as possible. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing, hopefully. We're, and we're going to show you guys later in the show how you can actually tell Lauren where you actually want her to go. We're doing a And you're going to do it. Yeah. Like they're going to tell you. There's a poll. Yeah, it's a play on where's... You guys call it Waldo? Yeah, where's we Waldo? We call it Wally where I'm from. Where's so Wally? So it's a play on where's Wally. Okay. Um, so yeah, the folks get to tell me where I have to go. We'll show you in just a little bit. One of the things, uh, before we get to that, we want to talk about it, and that is the, the change in DocuSign's messaging. Obviously, eSignature is where we were founded. It's, it's how we got our start. It's the core of what we do. But we've expanded to become part of something that we call the DocuSign Agreement Cloud. It's a much bigger play, and the integration with Salesforce has never been deeper. Yep. So we wanted to show folks at home if you've not heard of the DocuSign Agreement Cloud for Salesforce, now you're going to see it. If you're a Salesforce user and your work requires quotes, contracts, or other agreements, Salesforce just got even more powerful with DocuSign Agreement Cloud for Salesforce, a suite of applications and integrations that automate how agreements are prepared, signed, acted on, and managed all within Salesforce. By automating your agreement processes, orders in Sales Cloud, quotes in CPQ, and change requests in Service Cloud are all accelerated, and that accelerates your business. Prepare an agreement in just minutes. From an opportunity in Salesforce, pick a template, click a button, and an agreement instantly generates. It automatically includes the right data from Salesforce, from the customer's name and address to the products being bought and pricing. Get your agreement signed now. Click a button and send the agreement for signature. Then track its status, all from Salesforce. And your customer can sign anytime on a wide variety of devices from nearly anywhere. It's really that easy. Turn agreements into action. When an agreement is completed, actions can be triggered automatically. The opportunity can be marked closed one, and the agreement can be written back to the Salesforce record. And you can take additional actions using a point and click workflow builder. Manage agreements easily. Agreements are all in one place for full text searching and workflows, such as renewal reminders all managed according to your needs. The DocuSign Agreement Cloud for Salesforce includes Gen, our essential app for generating agreements from Salesforce data. Or you can choose Negotiate. This app includes Gen's capabilities, plus support for approvals, redlines, and version control. Even more capable is Contract Lifecycle Management, or CLM. It includes Negotiate's capabilities, plus a clause library, workflow builder, and agreement repository. And they all work with the most downloaded electronic signature app on AppExchange, DocuSign eSignature. With DocuSign Agreement Cloud for Salesforce, the business of agreeing just got better, so you get to closed one faster. So obviously a super exciting time to be at Dreamforce, be a part of the Salesforce ecosystem, and be a part of DocuSign. It really is. I'm so happy to work here. It's like a dream job. <laughs> I love it. So one of the great things about your interactions with these other trailblazers is you get a lot of time to just talk to them. I do. And um, you talked to somebody earlier. Tell me about who they are. and. So I know Kathy through Ohana Coffee. We'll get to that later. But I know Kathy for, I don't know, five, six months now and she's from Canada and she is constantly improving, constantly wanting to learn, which is why I'm so happy we have courses on DocuSign University. And and she stopped by our booth earlier on and she got to take a course. Great, let's yeah. see it. And 
I really wish I had it a few weeks ago in my own word. It's great because you can generate the templates, it's easy to set up, and you use a button to set it up and then send it off for signature and track where it's going, and it's like quick and easy. Thanks, Katie, for joining me. I know you just did a DocuSign University course. You did it on DocuSign Gen? I did. Okay, DocuSign Gen is very near and dear to my heart. I nearly, nearly, nearly won the demo jam um, at French Dutch Dreaming. It was like five seconds to go as well, so that's like a personal record. Um, so you took the course. I did. How did you find it? It was easy. It was very straightforward, and I really wish I had it a few weeks ago in my own word. It's great because you can generate the templates. It's easy to set up, and use a button to set it up, and then send it off for signature and track where it's going. And it's like quick and easy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like quick and easy. <laughs> so, Kathy, is there one feature that you love the most out of the whole training? Is there something that we have designed that you like? The button. Custom button? Oh, absolutely. Buttons yeah. are buttons are my favorite thing. So. Yeah. So you're able to just set it all up and create your custom button in one fail swoop? That's correct. Awesome. And I was so it makes it very easy and very painless on the other end. Exactly. That's what that's what we aim to do here at DocuSign. So thank you so much for taking the course, taking the time to stand here and talk to me. No problem. And I hope you have a great dream force. Thank you. All right, so this is live uh, television. So as yes. things happen, you get a little glitch there. We apologize. <laughs> we Hopefully, turned it off and on again. Yeah, we had yep. to do hit a replay. Yep. Uh, great interview, by the way. Thank you. Um, if folks want to find out how they can get to where Kathy is and get super involved, what's the best way for them to take a look and, and, and dive a little deeper? So DocuSign University has a whole load of courses, not just the ones we have for Dreamforce, but we're going to throw up a link on our DocuSign API Twitter handle, so please do take a look at that. Yep. Um, we have four courses that are designed specifically for Dreamforce. Mm -hmm. We have the Gen, we have Apex Toolkit, very close to my heart. We have CLM, we also have eSig for, for Salesforce. Yep, all built inside the in the doc, in the Docs and API, yeah. but it plays inside of Salesforce. Yes, exactly, and it's all available for our users, completely free. Yeah. To leverage and upskill themselves. That's brilliant. Now we've um, actually got if you we could talk about it, but I think we could also see it. Uh, one of your teammates did a demo. Yes, so. We we had one of our, our product managers do a demo for us, uh, real quick, what people are seeing on the booth. He has done a demo as to what he's showing with um, Jen. Brilliant, right let's, let's see it. Yeah. Today, customers create and negotiate their agreements by manually typing in terms and customer details to create an agreement. Then, this document is sent back and forth via emails for revisions. This slows down the deal process and increases the possibility of mistakes and risks to the company. DocuSign Negotiate for Salesforce lets you generate, negotiate, and redline customized agreements in just a few clicks. Let me show you how easy it is. Let's say I'm an account executive working on an opportunity in Salesforce, and I need to generate a master service agreement. I've already specified everything I need on this opportunity, like where the applicable law would be. Now I simply click on Generate MSA, which has been pre-configured by my admin in Negotiate, and within a few seconds, I have a polished, professional-looking agreement attached to my opportunity. In this case, I've, gen I've been generating a Word document, but you can also configure Negotiate to generate a PDF instead. Notice that all the data I've pulled from Salesforce becomes part of the document itself. You'll also see that I have a table that has been dynamically sized based on the number of products that were on the opportunity. Finally, this template also includes some legal language that's included based on the state in which the customer's business is based on. So what we have is a single template that conditionally inserts the right content for the right situation. Now I want to negotiate this document with my customer for, for redlining. I simply select Send for External Review to allow my counterparty and her legal team to review and edit the documents as they see fit. I can add my counterparty's contact and customize the subject and message that will be sent out.
This is the end of sending a negotiate to a counterparty. Once my counterparty reviews the document, I can compare different versions to see the changes without having to turn on track changes in Word. I simply click on this checkbox to view the red lines that will indicate the updates made by my counterparty. When I'm ready to close the deal, I simply click on Send for Signature directly from the Opportunity Space. If you have DocuSign for Salesforce Connector, you can copy this document to Notes and Attachments and Send for Signature that way. My DocuSign fields are automatically placed on the document based on my template and configuration for Negotiate. So that's the end user experience. We have a generation, negotiation, and signing experience all integrated within the Salesforce ecosystem. So that's pretty fantastic. Absolutely. And it literally is just a smidge of the level of cooperation between DocuSign and Salesforce. Are you pretty excited about that? I'm so excited. It's, it's it's amazing to see behind the scenes uh -huh. how the products are getting set up and you know all the people working behind and behind the scenes of, of our products. Mm -hmm. It's I was sitting on the floor to, last week and I was just like, oh my god! Like, yeah. It's amazing how how they're they're putting all this together. Yeah. And it's, it's what other demos are we going to see this week? We're going to see CLM, Apex Toolkit, and e signature for Salesforce. Love it. Now. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things that makes Dreamforce a unique conference, obviously, is the business impact. Yep. You know, no matter what you do and how you interact with Salesforce, there's so much for you to learn. There's so much more that you can do. But the other half of that is the amazing amount of nightlife that goes on. Yes, it is a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a lot of parties going on at Dreamforce right now. There's 22 tonight alone. Oh, my God. Yeah, there is... <laughs> crazy the amount of parties. If you have FOMO, this is not the conference no, no, for you. No, no, no. Or, or, or try your own surprise party or something, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, you have, um, one of the parties was last night. Yes. Talk about what, you, it was, this was your party. This was my baby. It was Ohana Coffee live from Dreamforce. It was the third year I've done it, believe it or not. Uh -huh. And Ohana Coffee actually spurred from Dreamforce 2016, okay. where I'm going back to Ireland and I, I didn't want to lose all my connections. Uh, yeah. So I spurred up a virtual meetup, um, which then progressed into a live meetup at Dreamforce. So last night we got together. It was 60, 70 people of my closest friends. That's brilliant. Yeah. Let's was, take a look. Yeah. I think you actually filmed some. I, I tried. I know <laughs> that's scary. She doesn't film anything, but let's take, let's take a look. Hi guys, I'm here live from Ohana Coffee. It is crazy. It is one of the first events of the Dreamforce season. As you can see, it's jam-packed, filled with a whole load of Salesforce Ohana. Barry Roberts. Hello. This is for work, Barry. Oh, hi, work. Hi, work. Um, so we're just going to get going, and then hopefully we'll hit a few more parties later on tonight. You're having way too much fun. Sorry. Uh, tell me what uh, is on tap party-wise tonight. So I'm heading to the MVP party. Okay. Um, there is a couple of happy hours. Um, there may actually be a karaoke as well. I know there's a silent disco. Okay. Um, no one needs to see my dance moves. I so think Conga does the silent disco. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I will be at the MVP party, living it up with fellow MVPs <laughs> and getting more information so I can bring it back to some of my my new newbies. Yeah, and and to tell you guys, there, again, no shortage of nightlife. Tomorrow night is Fleetwood Mac. It is. Anything it else is. you know about tomorrow night? There is a DocuSign happy hour. Brilliant. I am so. I got to pick the cup. This is the best job. I got to pick the cocktail. What is it? It is a maple bourbon something. Whoa. Yeah. I Sounds was just, delicious. I saw maple. I was like, so. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. So if people want to follow along the shenanigans and the things that we're doing over yep. the next week, how can they do that? If you use the hashtag DocuSign Live or follow the, API, the DocuSign API Twitter handle, that's where we're going to be hanging out. They can follow you where? Uh, Lauren Dunn underscore underscore C. Okay, and I'm at Jonas Tischer. I'm way simpler than she is. <laughs> um, so the other thing that we thought would be fun, and we talked about this earlier in the show, is if somebody wants to see you go do something someplace, yes. Yes. they can actually do that via a poll. Talk yes. about the Where's Lauren. So we are picking the locations around the Dreamforce campus, and um, it's basically a poll where people can vote where to see me. I will film 
where I am location wise to show you the shenanigans mm -hmm. that's going on and hopefully some cool things that are happening as well, some cool features. Great, so they will follow the hashtag DocuSun Live, they can yep. get on the poll, yes. they can tell you where to go yes. in a nice way. <laughs> Keep it PC people, I'm not <laughs> filming in inappropriate places. Yeah, and then yeah. tomorrow we'll be back here, one o'clock Pacific time, yes. and we'll show them all that fun exactly. stuff. Exactly, we will. So there's gonna be a whole lot more, obviously uh, parties and experiences, fun demos, a lot you can still learn. So we hope that you guys will join us for the next few days, one o'clock right here. Yes. You'll be here. I'll be standing right here. Perfect. Will you be standing there? I'll be standing okay. right here. <laughs> Thanks you guys and Thank we you. will see you tomorrow.